Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will tell you about mixed dentition analysis, also known as space analysis in mixed dentition. Mixed dentition analysis can be done in three different ways. Tanaka and Johnston method, Moyer's prediction method, and radiographic method. Today, we will do Tanaka and Johnston method. As we already know that the aim of space analysis is to find out arch length discrepancy, which is space available minus space required. Space available is arch perimeter and space required is mesodistal width of each tooth. But the problem is in mixed dentition, the, pre, the permanent premolars and canines are unerupted. So Tanaka and Johnston gave us a formula to predict the mesodistal width of unerupted premolars and canines with the help of erupted permanent mandibular incisors. This is the formula. Half of the width of mandibular incisors plus 10.5 millimeter will give us estimated width of mandibular canine and premolar in one quadrant. Half of the width of mandibular incisors will plus 11 millimeter will give us estimated width of maxillary canine and premolars in one quadrant. Remember, widths of lower incisors are used to predict both upper and lower premolars and canines width. You have to make a correction in your logbooks. Instead of maxillary incisors, write mandibular incisors here and here. Let's start mixed dentition analysis of this cast. First, we will measure the mesodistal width of mandibular incisors. Width of mandibular left lateral incisor is Seven millimeters. Width of mandibular left central incisor is six millimeters. Width of right central incisor is Six millimeters. Width of right lateral incisor is six millimeters. We will add them up and write the sum here. Now half of 25 millimeter is 12.5. 12.5 plus 10.5 is equal to 23 millimeters. This is the mesodistal width of unerupted canines and premolars of one side. For the other side of premolars and canines, we will do the same and write your answer here. Now the total space required is sum of mesodistal width of mandibular incisors plus mesodistal width of canines and premolars of one side plus mesodistal width of canines and premolars of the other side. 
and the answer is seventy one millimeters. Seventy one millimeter is our space required. Write it here and here. As you already know, space available is arch perimeter taken in segments. My first segment is twenty four millimeter. Second segment is ten point five millimeter. Remember to stay in the center of the arch. Don't go too buccal or too lingual, irrespective of tooth position. Third segment is 8.5 millimeter. Fourth segment is 24 millimeter. Add the segments to get space available, which is 67 millimeter. Arch length discrepancy of this cast is 67 minus 71 equals to minus 4 millimeter. For this cast, it's minus 4 millimeter crowding in mandibular arch. Same procedure is repeated for the maxillary arch.